Hi there. Today we're going to do a walkthrough of our uh, system. A few things have changed since last time and just wanted to show all you guys what's going on. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box down below and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, so we've moved a few things. From an earlier video I showed you how to do uh, the installation of a new IBC grow bed. Here it is in place, looking good finally. And uh, here's our very first uh, grow bed we started with. Got a few new plants in here, finally got the little baby plants in. Things are going really well over the past few weeks. You can see I've even got uh, pickling cucumber coming up there. Carrots are doing well. And uh, in this grow bed, I finally got our baby corn in. Not baby corn, but uh, the baby plants anyhow. Sweet corn here. And just in the past two weeks, they must have grown at least, at least 15 or 20 inches. Got the stock already trying to grow there, looking good. And uh, got an edamame here. It's been taking forever to do anything. Now finally, we got some buds coming up in there. I'm not too sure if you guys can see that, but it's looking good. Got some uh, Italian pineapple melon back there as well. New tomato plant coming in there. That is a... Uh, a Portuguese giant red I think it is and the big thing done here is taking uh, two cherry tomato plants and two Roma plants and I had let them get out of hand uh, they were one big bush eventually choking each other out and I read somewhere I think uh, it was on Rob Bob on the YouTube channel there I'll put his link in somewhere um, see, I think it was Rob Bob or some other one perhaps um, they mentioned that you need to essentially take out the suckers on each branch that's coming up off your main stalk. And I didn't do that. I let it kind of get out of control. So what I did is I pruned it back as best I can and strung them up to the ceiling. As opposed to having four main stalks, I think I'm, I got about 15 or 20 main stalks now, but everyone seems to be happy. I did lose quite a bit of the plant, but uh, they'll come back and they'll keep growing. In fact, since I've done it, they're, uh, they're really growing well. Got a few ripe ones there for dinner tonight. Should be good. And now that I've removed the, the main bush that was coming out at least three quarters of the grow bed here, I've got it way back. Everything else is quite happy now. The beetroots here are being choked out. The squash was being choked out. The strawberries were being pushed right over. The basil plant was buried completely. I did lose a couple plants back here. I lost the top of a red bell pepper. The back one's still doing good though. And lost two French beans that were in here from moving it around. But that's the way it goes, I guess. But you can see they're starting to get some size on them now. Those are the Roma tomatoes, looking good. And back here, I've got uh, some snap peas. For some reason, they've stopped flowering. I've still got one little flower there going on, but for the most part, I don't know why they stopped flowering. We'll have to keep an eye on that. I was getting about five or ten uh, snap peas a day on that. It was really fantastic. And over here I got seedless watermelon. Two main plants coming up here, growing across the trellis. And uh, yeah, working quite good actually. Quite pleased with that. A little bit cloudy today in Malta. Such is the weather, I guess. We thought it was summertime, but it's cooling down a bit. All right, that's the system pretty much. Um, in here I got uh, some green stem pak choy. Those are really growing fantastic. Under a month to grow those full size. As you can see, I had this whole lineup here of pak choy, been eating them all. As well as uh, the lettuce doing really well. But again, over the past few weeks, been busy with the system, I totally forgot to start <laughs> growing more, more baby plants and baby lettuce, stuff like that. I do have some more peas coming because I was concerned about getting the flowering on that. Got some new uh, Chinese cabbage that I'm growing. These are just taking off fantastic. These are only about, I think they're eight days old or something like that. It's just amazing. Got a couple of pak choy, but the others are just not really doing a whole bunch. I'm not too sure why. Maybe it's too hot. Another thing I started to do is I got a, a plant of raspberry. Not sure if people grow raspberries in Malta. I've never really seen them here. So we'll have to do a little experiment to see if that's going to work. As well as I've also got 
a baby kiwi plant. I'm really pleased about that. That's fantastic. So we'll give those a go and we'll let you know how that goes over the summer. All right. What I'll do is I'll just take you to the main fish tank here, let you know what's going on. I did change this a while ago. I'm not sure if you saw, but I had a IBC grow bed that I just chopped about in half. I had it about 600 liters. And I found that wasn't quite big enough. I was getting the water temperature too high. So I went up to a thousand liters and filled it right to the top. Everything's working out well. The fish are really happy. I'll just remove this air stone here. Maybe you can see them. As I say, I've got uh, eight goldfish in there. Decent size anyhow. But I've also got, uh, I've ordered 30 tilapia that I'm going to be putting in here. And uh, it's going to be really pleased with that. Hopefully they come here soon. We'll see. They're on order. And, uh, oh yeah, well, well, I'm here as well. I'll jump to the other side. We found, I found these in my sump tank just about a week ago. I got three baby uh, goldfish. I didn't even know that we had eggs in the system or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, wife is really pleased about that. So we'll keep them on the go. Jump into here. And a while ago, I had a whole different system here. Uh, originally, I had a swirl filter, and that worked out just fine. But uh, I wanted to get in something a bit cleaner water, and I did some research on it and found I went into a radio flow system. So essentially, you can see the pipe coming out of here, and that comes from in here. This pipe goes right down to the bottom of the tank, sits about half an inch off the bottom of the tank. And what that does is it creates a suction where, I'm not sure if you can see it there, but there's an inlet from the pump which fills the tank up. Then the tank gets to a certain height and the water has to have somewhere to go. So it goes through here, gets sucked up from the bottom of the tank, out this pipe here, which continues outward, comes down this pipe and into the bottom of this uh, five gallon pail. The five gallon pail of the outlet here, actually I can remove all the solids. And you can see here, you can see down the bottom, I'm not sure if you can. Let me just plug it up here just quickly for water to settle. And then you can see the, uh, the pipe coming in from the outside of the tank through here. 245s to help uh, with the water flow, no restrictions there. And the water comes flying up here. And then the clean water uh, gets out through this pipe and into the sump tank. And in order to help the solids fall to the bottom, I have a plant uh, pot that's uh, screwed to the top of this lid. And when this goes down like this and gets uh, set on top, essentially the water gets pushed up. And then with the, it, the change of direction, it makes the solids float to the bottom and uh, settle on the bottom there. You can see it's working out really well. And then all the clean water just gets uh, pushed through here and, and into the sump tank. Working really well. We're really pleased with that. And you can see in there, quite good flow. I uh, changed the pump. Uh, I was running a 2,500 liter um, an hour pump. And uh, as soon as I installed the new IBC grow bed, I found that it really wasn't enough flow. I was losing, losing the exchange rate on the water for the fish tank. So I upped it to a 4,000 liter. I think that's an 800 and 80 gallon per hour uh, circulation pump there and that's what I've got running and then I've got another sump pump or it's not sump pump I've got another uh, sump uh, tank that's inside under the grow beds and these two sump tanks are connected and they're 226 liters each and that's a thousand liter fish tank so far so good we're really pleased and I'll keep you up to date in the next little while if you like this video and uh, have any questions please subscribe on the bottom and uh, great day catch you later